library. The, we are so intrigued. We are. We're so intrigued. We, we have Kevin and we have uh, Rebecca here uh, to talk about the Bird Library. Okay, so one uh, first question, where exactly is the Bird Library located? So the Bird Library is located in Kevin's backyard in Charlottesville, Virginia. Okay. Now, uh, is there a particular type of book that birds like better than other kind of books? <laughs> we really hope that they expose themselves to to all all types of books. So we have a little bit bit of everything in our library, and um, yeah, they can take whatever they like. <laughs> okay. Okay. So how did this come about? Uh, why did you guys decide to make a library for birds and then put it up on the internet and then kill all the productivity at this television station because we cannot stop watching this? <laughs> so it started. Um, we saw a live feed of uh, a a bird feeder in Norway. Yeah. It was called the Pip Show, and it was a coffee bar that the birds would visit, and you could watch 24 hours a day. And so we saw that, and we thought, oh, we could do that with a library. I'm a school librarian. Kevin's a woodworker. Um, so we thought that we could um, make our own bird feeder in our backyard and, and have birds visit our library. It is absolutely adorable. And then you, you get caught watching it. And then another bird comes along, and then it gets really exciting because sometimes a squirrel shows up. It's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have all kinds of visitors, and you know, they sometimes they get along, and sometimes they don't. Now, uh, let me let me ask you this: uh, There's also a Patreon page, and on the Patreon page, you should get all the different types of animals and stuff that have popped up there. Um, uh, wh where did you get that information? And then, and then, why can't I stop clicking on it? I, th there's something that's so addictive about it, I can't stop clicking. Having it flip is, is pretty addictive. Uh, most of the information uh, we've gotten from the Cornell. Uh, labs that they, they do a great job up there in New York of uh, just giving out so much information. So I try to link as much as I can to them, uh, just because they know they know everything. I, I, I'm a more of an amateur, um, but the idea was just to kind of chronicle like all the different birds that have come uh, to our library over the years. Would you guys be terribly upset if I built like a little TV set outside and then put some seeds on it and a camera? Is that okay? <laughs> I don't, I don't mean to totally rip off your idea, but I'm going to totally rip off your idea. That's great. Yeah, we'd love to have bird bird libraries or, or bird newsrooms all over the country because there's different birds all over the country, and, and we'd love to see what what birds come to your bird feeder. Well, done and done. I will start working on that right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Seriously, it is so entertaining. I just love watching it. I absolutely love watching it. We're pretty, very nice to meet you guys. And it's been going on for, what, have five years? It's been on for a while. Right. Right? Five years. All right, thank you very much. The Bird Library. Thank you. I love it. All right, it. back to you guys. I love that it. Is great.